and I know it's been a long time since I've been away I had to take care of the business and it sucks because I like making videos as opposed to taking care of the business but you know do what you got to do so that said uh happy Halloween week this is the season for pumpkins and uh getting into the holiday season so uh hopefully you're getting your costumes ready and uh the kids are carving up the pumpkins or you're carving up the pumpkin that's good too having some of that pumpkin latte and hopefully not pumpkin beer. That's just wrong. Um, oh, and uh, on another note, if you're a Chargers fan, <laughs> oh man, sucks to be us, right? Last week, this past game, a couple days ago, it was just awful. Uh, so yeah, there's that. So what I'm doing is uh, I want to share some knowledge with you since this is the season that we're going to be, uh, you know, starting the fall season with all the food and Pumpkins are a big part of uh, Halloween season, so I wanted to share with you the relationship between bees and pumpkins. I didn't know that there's actually a particular bee that pollinates pumpkins, but there is. It's called the squash bee. Uh, I'm just finding this stuff out as I go because uh, I made this invention for bees. It's called a bee raft, and you can check that out in another video. But uh, as I'm researching on how to get bees attracted to it you know what colors what smells blah 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 uh, i'm finding out a lot about bees more than i ever thought i'd know so three or four years into it and now i know a lot about bees so um anyway so yeah how it works is you can see in the pictures there's a male and a female pumpkin plant the female has a lot of uh stuff <laughs> stuff in it um i don't know what they're called the male has a single long stamen so i guess the females have multiple stamens but um anyway the males are produced first and that way they can entice bees to come drink nectar the bee, the males are filled with nectar which if you don't know what nectar is it's just sugar water um, so when the bees go into the the plant itself and they're drinking, there's pollen everywhere, and it sticks to the bees have really fine hairs on their bodies, on their legs, and on their backs. So the pollen sticks to it, and then when they go to the females, the females get the pollen, and they start making flowers, or uh, they start making pumpkins or squash. So you can tell the difference between the females and the males. The males just have that long stamen inside the plant, and the females have a little pumpkin ball or a squash ball under the plant. So that's pretty cool. And that's, uh, you know, that's pretty much it. It's every time you're like carving a pumpkin or uh, drinking pumpkin spice latte or choking on pumpkin seeds or choking on that nasty pumpkin beer, uh, just remember bees hooked it up. And, um, you know, the bees don't know that they're hooking us up. Like we take the pumpkins and all that stuff. They just do what they do. They're bees. And they're going to keep doing it. But in order them to keep doing it, we got to help. Because right now, bees are pretty screwed uh, big time. There's uh, pesticides that are killing them off. There's these things called varroa mites that attach themselves to the bees inside the hive. And they kill the bees that way. There's fucking murder hornets that are attacking beehives. And then there's global warming on top of it all. And uh, so, like, with global warming, what happens is, you know, certain plants or flowers that are supposed to be blooming at this time of the year aren't blooming until later. They get pushed back just because the summers are longer and hotter. So when the bees show up to pollinate these plants, they're not there. And so the bees travel somewhere else or they just die off. So And then, uh, you know, the government... They're just too split to be able to do anything progressive about it. There's no help from the government right now as far as that. I mean, they're trying to make a move with the climate, but, you know, they move so slow just because they're always shifting and they're arguing and it sucks. So what you can do is start bee rafting. It's a thing. And please check out the other video on bee rafts and what they are. And you can actually... Blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> Actually, I'll leave a link below so you can buy B-Rafts. 
But, you know, if you want to do something to help bees, start with bee rafting. It's a thing. If you want to say, you know, the government's not working out, they're not going to do anything about it, start bee rafting. It's a thing. If you want to do something good for your backyard, um, I don't know if you've gone to your friends' houses or relatives' houses, but some people have homes and their gardens just like shot. You know, the plants are dead or partially dying or something like that. Uh, bees keep your garden strong and healthy, and it makes a difference, especially if you're trying to sell your house. It helps keep the property value up. So, and you can tell when people have a nice, beautiful garden because it's just colorful and you know it's all flourishing. So you need bees for that. True story. And the downside of all this, even though bees are dying off, what the government is doing, they're actually contracting certain people, certain companies to make robotic bees. And the problem with that is in the fine print, it states that the bees don't just have to be used for pollination. Okay, they're little, they're the size of bees, but they have cameras on them. So that opens it up to spying. You know, they're saying they can be used for search and rescue. Yeah, that's fine. But you know, at some point, they're going to start using them to spy on people, you know. And I mean, wouldn't you rather not have that many cameras around? Because there's already phones everywhere, you know, tablets, iPhones, all that crap. So it's like, you know, that's too many cameras. And if you add little microscopic ones that can fly around, oh, that sucks. So start bee rafting. It's a thing, really. And that's it, guys. Uh, I hope you have a happy Halloween. <laughs> if you want to get scared about something, be scared about all these uh, potential cameras that are going to be flying around if the government actually starts using these companies to make, make uh, robotic bees. That's just a mess waiting to happen. But um, be safe out there. Have some fun. Hopefully you have a cool costume. Uh, if you have children, you know, let them know. Be safe. Don't eat too much candy. And I'll see you on the next video.